What is up, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Sunday Driver. Today, we have a fun one because my brother Colton, say hello. Hello. Decided like a fool to go and buy a project car. Uh, it's a lot bigger than mine. It's a lot longer, and it gets way worse MPG. What'd you get, buddy? What MPG do I get? Or what vehicle? No, what did vehicle get? did you get? A 2005 Ford Econo line. Oh. E250 extended. So that way it gets even worse MPG. So do you want to tell me why you decided to get such a monstrous beast? Yeah, son. Uh, why? Well, what are you going to do with this thing? I'm going to convert it into a little camper van. Uh, I don't have the money to have a Sprinter or a Transit or any of the big ones you could stand up in because the military doesn't pay that well. So I got something that's on the smaller end, but I sprung for the extended version, that, which is basically an extra two feet on the back end of it. Yeah. So that way I can kind of sleep with my head here, my feet here, just add a little bit more space to what I'm lacking. So basically, so you can't fit in a parking spot? <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> if anything's gonna get clipped, it's probably gonna be the back end yeah. with, you know, my head right there, so. So give me a quick run through of what exactly you've collected a ton of parts. Oh, They're all stacking up around the house uh, and I know you're about to dive deep on this thing. So give me the basic rundown of oh, what this thing's about to go through. Oh God. Um, so camper vans are a little weird. It's not like the traditional car guy uh, makeup like or parts to get. Like the parts I'm getting is right now mainly all solar stuff. So solar panels, solar charge controller, a uh, fat battery, about uh, yay big. House battery? It, it, it looks like a house battery essentially, yeah. Okay. It's got like 1200 watt hours and so there's just a bunch of electrical tools and stuff like that. So it's all, the, my biggest trouble right, right now is the electrical. But this week I bought an orbital sander and I'm gonna sand it all down and then I'm gonna get it painted because this is really rapey. It's real crazy. <laughs> it's yeah the, it, it the is. all white with the no windows look is a little uh yeah um, it has and certain connotations well <laughs> the thing about it too is the last people that had it they they uh they delivered packages places and so for security they added padlocks yeah and like again for security they told me that uh they had like grates on the back windows and the door on the inside is disabled, so okay. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's a feature. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna go through a lot of work to make it just all overall less creepy. I'm thinking a burnt orange or a green. I'm leaning towards green. Green? green yeah. Would be nice. I think so, like a burnt orange or a green. I'm gonna do the hubcaps black. I'm gonna add a roof rack with my solar on top. Um, Oh boy, so much is gonna and then, happen. So the, the big fuzzy dice will go up here. Yes. And then we're gonna have the shag carpet in the back. And then the, we're gonna put one of those little circular windows in it, like it's a no, boat. No. <laughs> I don't want anyone to be able to see in this more than they probably already can. So I'm gonna go around here, paint both bumpers black get the grill and the I call them the buckets right here the headlight buckets black and just the grill as well yeah grill is gonna be black so black and green black and orange yeah uh, whichever one whichever one I decide to do yeah but um it's it's kind of a weird car project just because I'm not really doing much to the engine except uh, it needs a new head unit new battery right but everything else is like Oh, I'm installing carpet and wood floors and building a bed and so <laughs> you'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah, so as of this week it's going to be like getting it painted. I'm gonna install a kill switch. I'm just sanding it down, getting all the electrical put together so that way by the time it's painted I can set it all up very quickly and I'm going to begin insulating it, which is gonna be a combination of lizard skin, Dynamat, and 3M Thinsulate. Okay, so you said it's called Thinsulate? Thinsulate. That's weird. Like insulate, but Thinsulate. Yeah, so that's the one that he told me, it's basically like, if you look up in your house attic, it's that fluffy pink stuff. I don't know if it's 
better or if it has like certain properties that are better for this particular application. So basically what I've seen is that what everyone does, this is like, this is like literally every van in conversion video that I look up does this. And this is, this is a project of YouTube, a product <laughs> rather of YouTube, or it's going to be, is like you cut out a thin slit basically like in the shape of your windows and the gaps in the sheet metal oh, inside the car. Okay. And then you use um, insulation glue to glue that to the inside. And that so makes you, sense. you cover up all the gaps in the metal and then you put like an insulation thing over that. Oh. And then you just put in like the floors and make your bed frame. Right. And then... Because yeah. as it stands, it's it's pretty loud to ride around in. Oh, it's uh, it's pretty absurdly loud. Not in like a good car way, more <laughs> like a hanging on but for dear life type of way. All right, so we've seen the good parts of this. Show me the bad parts. Oh god. <laughs> well, you have to know where you came from. Where I came from? <laughs> oh god. Okay. So first off, you got you got creepy padlocks. You got. The paint job was done by uh, a shaker bottle. Yeah. So you got it's peeling everywhere. And overall, it's just patchy and gross. Uh, the weird thing is, like, I think the original color is actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's, the original color is this nice, nice blue. It started out like a dark blue, and to me, yeah. it still looks like that paint is in good shape. It must have, it looks like it. So. But there's overspray on everything like they didn't ask anything yeah. at all so, so like if you open the door right you come in here and they they over uh, i find coins in here all the time that are white because there's <laughs> loose change in there and they just sprayed it yeah there's holes and stuff and like <laughs> there's these random ass like just what the hell yeah so there's a lot of these pinholes which we'll have to steal i would seal them up somehow to prevent any rust and any moisture getting into the yeah, cabin still still thinking about that one for sure you could either weld in little pieces but would take forever or cost a lot or you could probably find plugs for it that's what brett was saying our uncle was saying that uh that there's probably plugs available but this is this has gone on the back um i was trying to this is loose and I was trying to, you know, fix it, and I twisted it one turn too tight, and the uh, bolts on the other end broke off on the inside. <laughs> so ever since I did that, this door uh, it works about half the time. Yeah, sometimes it'll just it'll just go, but it doesn't open. I okay. shoulder check it, and it works sometimes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. This is that's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the inside of it. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. So I'm thinking <laughs> overall plan is bed right here. Little, I'm gonna put a plank of wood right here that folds down, and so it creates okay. a little like working eating area. And then there's gonna be a kitchen and a sink right there. And then right there is gonna be a bench that I fold up like this. And then there's my electrical stuff right there. And walk I'm, me through your dream kitchen. My dream kitchen? Oof, 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 oof. Oh wow. I'm, I'm excited about that one. Okay. Let me just... Yeah, so these these had some real <laughs> ugly grates on them, and there was paint all over the back windows. Yeah. It was gross. And so I the took paint. a razor. Yeah. yeah, it was through here. So. And so I took a razor blade and I scraped all the paint off, pretty painstaking. Oh wait, can we can we get a quick look at custom custom white painted tail lights? Yeah, nice. You can kind of see it arrive. <laughs> Scratched it off a little bit. That's what you want. That's not what I want. <laughs> Yeah, pretty funny thing about this side, I actually didn't even notice till this guy sold me the car, but like my mirror right here is held up by a wad of paper. Otherwise it would just fall out like that. That's, it's not even tape. It's just Yeah, no, it's like a wad of paper. It's like it's like gum. <laughs> oh daddy. my gosh. So yeah, at least it's simple to replace. I'm just gonna get a new side view mirrors, I guess. But for the kitchen, I'm gonna have the kitchen come out to right about here, so actually out of the van. And then I'm gonna have uh, something that folds out or up, and it's just a wood plank right here. And I'm gonna have a sink that can- Like kinda, a cutting board or what? Uh, a cutting board, just a board in general, so that way I can like put my skillet on it or just enough that I can cook outside. So that okay. way, because I can't cook inside, it would just get too smoky but have my sink come around like this. And so that way I can like use my sink or whatever. Yeah. I'm playing around with it. Well, you're having a movable sink? 
not a movable sink, but like a swivel, so it can just come around, you know? So that's movable. Yeah, movable then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I'm playing around with the idea of uh, also like boring a hole somewhere in there and there, so I don't need a gray water tank. Like the water will just empty out on the ground, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Okay. Uh, also, that Got would it. make midnight peas a lot easier. And also, I'm playing around with the idea of boring a hole in there big enough to do the number two business. Dude, be a man, find a tree. Which would be very, very disturbing for people outside of my camper van <laughs> if I did a number two and it started to smell real bad. Wait, <laughs> are you telling me there would just be a hole in the bottom? So as people walk by your van, they hear something fall to the ground? Yeah. And then <laughs> I drive away and they're like, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Also, I'm thinking of getting like a uh, on the big big side right there near the windows, like a big uh what's it called? Where you wrap something on it. What? A picture that you can just like play with a A tapestry? No, um <laughs> God, what's it called? I don't know. What it's what's it called when you like wrap a car? <laughs> you don't like paint it. That's called a wrap. You just say wrapping a car. Anyway, like a design on that side that you like use to... Oh, you want to get like a decal? Decal, yeah. I'm thinking ah, getting a yes. decal on that side of like some mountains or whatever so people know I'm cool and adventurous. I see. Yes. I see. Yes. It's all about the cloud, isn't it, for you? It is. I'm hoping to make well, some money off this myself, so... Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, where's the nitrous go? The nitrous? Oh my god. Where did the blue flames come out? This thing? Yeah, I went from having my 2001 Honda Accord to this. The MPG makes me a little sad every, like every time I drive it. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Yeah. And this is before I have actual stuff in it, so... It'll oh, get worse. But... Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I've heard there's some things I can do to make it better, but well, I'm not optimistic. I mean, most places that you're going to be going, you're going to be cruising on the freeway, so it'll be the best MPG you can get, but oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still not going to be great. This thing, when I drive it, literally does not go over 65. Like, I, I, drive, <laughs> I drive in the slow lane every time, and I'm cruising. Yeah. Quite honestly, dude, sometimes I drop below 65. I'm going, like, 60. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because I was an EMT for like a year and all the rigs that we drove were Fords. So this is like, this brings back the memories right here. <laughs> <laughs> Except mine had a switch for the, for the siren right there. I'm yeah. not that cool. I was thinking of putting a switch in right about there so I can, you know, flick it up and it plays the Ice Cream Man theme song. I think that would really complete the van look. You mean Ice Cream Man by Van Halen or the actual... No, the... Yeah, I, I, think, I think you should probably paint the car before you do that because again, the whole huge white van, no windows, creepy man playing ice cream song. But he's not an ice cream man. Yeah, you know it's funny is we uh me and my buddies have a friend named Peter and Peter got a van like this to to weld. Like he uh has like he makes money welding and he got it this to hold all of his equipment and he put a free candy sign on the back and it's so funny. He oh, lives like God. down the street from us, I'll show it to you, it's so funny. Oh jeez. Yeah, no, I uh I don't wanna have that type of recognition or clout though of a free candy sign, so yeah. Well, I know you got that fatty stack of parts at home, so yeah. this thing is about to go undergo some big changes here. This is the last time we'll see it in this current state. Hopefully. Jesus. Pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. This is Colton's first project car, so he figured out how much project cars cost. And, uh, it's literally the worst experience of my life. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, I could do this super cool thing. Oh wait, that's really expensive. Yeah, really getting a car and a girlfriend, I went from being like, I felt so rich, now I just, I feel like I'm just this poor homeless man wandering the streets of San Diego. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what those two things will do to you. So. Yeah. But anyways, more on this to come. This thing is gonna go under a pretty sweet transformation, so. Any final words? <laughs> oh, just, Here's to hoping that it will change soon. What will change? Uh, It'll definitely change. Here's to hoping that I can finish this soon. Let me rephrase that. Ooh, finish is a 
interesting word in the car no, community. No, no. <laughs> I feel like it's like never gonna be done. No, it won't. <laughs> as soon as this is done, I'm gonna put some fat tires on it, redo the suspension a little bit, and just yeah. And then you have to go and find your perfect tire yeah. and your perfect wheels. I think these are. I'm gonna put some deep dish rims Dude, and some fatty tires on them. Honestly, I think you should paint these. I think they oh, look. Paint. I'm gonna paint these black like tomorrow. Dude, you should do bronze. Bronze would be cool. Bronze? Cooler. No, I'm gonna do. It'd be cooler I'm, than black. I'm gonna do black first. <sighs> Basic. Yeah. <laughs> I can always redo them in bronze. That's true. That's true. Well. Yeah. That's it for today, everybody. This thing is gonna be a pretty sick project. <laughs> Till next time.